In the last decades, birth rates have fallen dramatically in the Western world, and in particular in Europe. In all European countries, the birth rates are much below the replacement rate, and the recent COVID lockdowns made things even worse. In a few regions, children have become a rare sight. I don't like children. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe I will change my mind in the future, but at the moment when I look into my future, I can't see kids. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. The, man, many people think that the goal of their life is to have children, but yes, the goal of my life is to find myself and to make the world a better place, and there is no there is no place for children. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sh quite sure, so I really don't know, maybe one or two. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yet because I don't know anything uh, about my future. I'm open to everything, but I don't want to make me a plan now and then live after this plan. I want to be open for everything and I don't know yet what kind of job I want to have. Do I want to have a family and stuff like this? I don't know. Uh, more or less, it is now uh, no difference in fertility anymore uh, between East and West Germany. The main problem of East Germany that is that it is accompanied uh, by outmigration. And what is quite unique is that in East Germany the young women are leaving. Normally in migration uh, it, it is a young men who go abroad or somewhere else. Uh, but uh, So this is quite unique and this has a double effect. On, on the one hand uh, the, <coughs> the, uh, the amount of women who could have children has decreased and then the fertility rate is low uh, on top of that and this has uh, led to a situation that uh, children have become quite rare. It's, there are not so many people being born and lots of people getting older. <laughs> And the older people want quiet and they want they need special services and the young people need want to have fun and they want to have be able to go in the, in the center of the city and party but what are the reasons some mention materialism and hedonism the search for pleasure living for the moment instead of thinking about the future Today, most people are marrying and having children later in life, where there are more possibilities of miscarriages or fertility issues. What we can expect for the very near future is another drop in the absolute numbers of children born in East Germany. Uh, a very specific point is also that um, because of this outmigration of young women, we have a, a very imbalanced uh, sex ratio in East Germany. In some parts uh, of East Germany it goes up to 130 young men uh, in the marriage age uh, to 100 women and you can see that this creates uh, several problems uh, not only for the fertility rate but also uh, for perhaps uh, social behavior because these young men are typically those uh, who are low educated, have mm. rather uh, low chances on the labor market and so this may create uh, some unrest and mm -hmm. perhaps uh, deviant behavior of uh, mm -hmm. several kinds. The problem is not exclusive to Europe. Asian countries such as Korea and Japan have even lower birth rates, but in Europe there is a large number of immigrants that are younger than the native population. Even if the birth rates eventually rebound, many of the newborn will not be native Europeans. Yes, I, I think um, the problem is everywhere and uh, we now um, get the feeling of that because there are so many foreign people who came and yes, 
10 years ago they are um, almost were no, uh, only um, German people and now you walk through the city and you see many people from foreign countries and it's hard for uh, for older people I think to get along with that change because yes, it's unknown and maybe it's dangerous some people are dangerous but not all and yes they have to learn that to be open-minded and don't uh, hate all the new people <laughs> another cause is urbanization perhaps it's a question of space people living in cities tend to have less children than those in the countryside But in Europe, 40% of the population now lives in big cities, 32% in suburbs or medium-sized towns, and only 28% live in the countryside. In Italy and Spain, many villages have become basically ghost towns. Tofia, 100 kilometers from Rome, is not there yet. There are a thousand people living here. There are even some children, but most of them will live when they become adults. The rest of the population is mostly older people. Some are locals, other are pensioners who came here after they retired. The artist Livio Christi lived alone for many years in the countryside. Now he lives with his fourth wife in Tofia. He has two sons and one daughter. His daughter became a Buddhist monk and does not have children. She lives in Rome. Amo questo tipo di indipendenza, no? in effetti giudico che, giudico che si conquista maturità proprio affrontando di persona senza l'aiuto o il sostegno della casa, dei genitori, del padre, della madre, eccetera. Credo che sia molto più veloce e anche molto più autentica Uh, questa la prassi del affrontare direttamente le cose da solo da soli in campagna avevo un casale che, un casale in campagna proprio no? e sai venendo avanti con gli anni poi devi fare tutto in giardino sei solo quindi il, cominciamo a diventare faticoso e allora ho pensato che sarebbe stato meglio eh, avvicinarmi in un posto più o meno organizzato come Toffia. Poi qui ho conosciuto la mia compagna. Per puro caso siamo arrivati qua. Quando sono arrivata qua mi è piaciuto perché poi in fondo il paesaggio, l'olivo, un po' insomma, mi ricordava casa, per cui è differente dalla campagna romana. While most young people leave the villages to move to bigger towns, Viola is a rare case going in the opposite direction. She wants to leave Rome for the countryside. Mi chiamo Viola, sono nata e cresciuta a Roma e sono, ho studiato a Roma. E poi a 19 anni sono andata via e sono andata ad Arezzo e ho fatto l'università lì. E sono rimasta sette anni più o meno e poi sono ritornata a Roma nel 2010 mm. e dal 2010 sono qua a te, cioè Roma, ti piace vivere a Roma? no no, <ride> no. no per perché? Niente. perché non mi piace vivere in un posto così grande preferisco stare in un posto più piccolo e soprattutto stare, poter stare in campagna o vicino, molto vicino alla campagna mm. che è un piccolo paese 
eh, come Toffia o come altri che ci sono, però la possibilità di quando ho del tempo libero di poter andare proprio fuori in campagna a passeggiare a col cane o al cavallo. Però questo, e poi soprattutto perché c'è troppo rumore a Roma. E adesso però il, diciamo che la mia funzione qui è finita. Io, la situazione che, è, che ha richiesto la mia presenza a Roma si è risolta. E quindi io non ho più nessun motivo. Non sono fidanzata, non ho un lavoro che mi piace particolarmente, ho solo un lavoro che posso fare ovunque. Quindi mm. in realtà non mi lega praticamente niente. Mm. Sì, gli amici, però ecco, gli amici, mm. le amicizie le coltivi comunque, anche se non vivi nello stesso posto, no? gli amici mm. veri te li tieni lo stesso. At the time of the interview, Viola didn't have any children, and she had a dog. Many people who did not have children, either by choice or for other reasons, have replaced them with cats or dogs. One of the reasons it's because it's much easier. It's hard to argue with that. Raising children is one of the hardest things in life. But before, it was not a question of choice, but a simple obligation or a natural process. That's why, perhaps, the lower birth rate correlates with the secularization of society. Europe has many wonderful churches, but most of them are empty. In Sicily, ancient religious traditions still hold. One would expect the birth rate to be a bit higher here. Although it is the region in Italy with the second highest fertility rate, it's still quite low, only 1.32. That was before the COVID lockdowns. During the pandemic, many imagined there would be a new boom in births. All at home, all together, maybe there will be more children, but unfortunately, no. Augustine observed centuries ago that children are not free of sin and they can be as selfish or as jealous as adults. But we tend to be more indulgent with them. Part of it is because they are innocent and completely dependent on us. And part of it is because we know they are, in a very literal sense, our future. In ancient cultures, the pomegranate fruit was a symbol of fertility because of its large numbers of seeds. In Christianity, it became also a symbol of Christ's sacrifice, a reminder that after death can come a new life. Perhaps Europe needs to reject materialism and start seeing children again as a blessing and not as a choice or as a liability. And then perhaps it will be able to grow again. Oh,
accepti formis munere. Que será, será.